Meanwhile, today, hundreds of students rallied against sexual assault at a local university with a troubling distinction. The Washington Post found Gallaudet University has the highest per capita rate of reported sex offenses of all U.S. colleges. Stephen Cheetah went to today's event on campus. Gallaudet University tops the list when it comes to reported sexual offenses on campus. In 2012, there were more than 11 per 1,000 students. And today, students and faculty rallied to try to change this situation. They pounded a drum and sang Gallaudet's fight song, not in opposition to another college team, but a more serious problem. We need to stop sexual assault. Analysis revealed Gallaudet had 11 reported forcible sexual offenses for every 1,000 students in 2012. The statistics prompted students here to rally. It's our attitudes that make us who we are, so that's why I'm wearing this shirt. Hundreds wore teal t-shirts labeled it's on us. We felt that it's a special color. Uh, I think um, one thing is it's very, very easily seen. It's bright. They want to bring attention to a haunting question. Why the highest rate of forcible sex offenses at Gallaudet, the leading university for the deaf and hard of hearing? We're a very small community. We're a small deaf community. And so it's more easy for us to share information with one another and get support from one another. The students admit their goal is to halt the incidence of sexual assault and also to get Gallaudet off the top of the list of U.S. colleges when it comes to forcible sex offenses. Future generations of students who may want to come to this school, their parents might see that statistic and maybe be afraid of sending their students here. Administrators at Gallaudet say they aren't surprised by these findings at other universities. Alleged victims may likely report the incident to local police, but here at Gallaudet, a school for the deaf and hard of hearing, they believe the alleged victim would be more inclined to report the incident to someone here on campus so they could report it via sign language and not have to rely on an interpreter. Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.